uh, who should consider heavy metal detox? People who have chronic fatigue problems, sleep problems, insomnia problems, uh, problems if you're sleeping for eight or 10 hours, then you're still tired and you're not able to function, you don't feel refreshed. People like that. People with autoimmune conditions, if you have brain fog, if you have ADD, autism, headaches, hair falling out, fibromyalgia, cold hands and feet, gut problems, depression, anxiety, low sex drive, anger, irritability, skin problems, dark circles under eyes, uh, even people with cancer and other such conditions. Now again, be careful here because I am not telling you that heavy metal detox is the cure to all of these problems. Many of these problems have multiple factors and multiple potential causes. And so if you have one of these problems, I empathize because they can be very stubborn. And what you have to do is you have to troubleshoot and you have to eliminate all the possible causes and try various sorts of solutions until you find something that hopefully works. Of course, there's no guarantee that anything will fix your problem, but uh, it doesn't feel very good to be a victim about it. You might as well try stuff and see what works and you might get lucky. And so, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not promising you that, that this, this process will cure your cancer, um, but maybe it'll help. So again, I'm not a doctor. This is not strictly speaking medical advice. You have to consult your own doctors and think critically for yourself about what of the things that I'm saying is gonna to apply to your particular health condition and your situation, factoring in your genetic history and your diet and all the other factors, right? So don't approach this lightly. This is your health, this is important stuff. On the other hand, precisely because it is your health and it is so important, and it is the foundation of all personal development work and all spiritual work, if you don't get this stuff handled, then you're not gonna be able to follow along with my other content which is why I want to release this episode is because a lot of you guys are just stuck suffering from depression or ADD or some, you know, brain fog or sleep disorder or whatever, or fatigue. And then you're not able to really go and self-actualize because the foundation of self-actualization is just basic fundamental good health. So where does heavy metal toxicity come from? There's actually so many sources. You'll be shocked once you start to study the sources uh, and how common it can be. And then it's no wonder that you're potentially toxic. So mm, the problem with heavy metal toxicity is that heavy metals, which is really what we're talking about here is lead, mercury, and arsenic. These are the top heavy metals. Although there's of course, potentially other ones as well that you can test for. Um, I'll be showing you how to test for them in a minute here. Um, but these are the big three, mercury, lead, and arsenic. And um, our environment over the last hundred years has been crazy polluted from heavy industry and mining and other, you know, manufacturing and electronics and you know, bad recycling practices and oil and gas industry, all these sorts of, you know, plastic manufacturing, um, gold mining, like there's a lot of these industries which have polluted because we have very bad regulations. Uh, have have polluted the rivers, the oceans, the lakes, the fish, the animals, the uh, the farms. Because you know where do they get the water for all the for all the vegetables and fruits that are grown? They get the cheapest water from the cheapest sources, which is contaminated by industrial pollution. And then you eat that stuff, and it gets absorbed into the soil. It gets absorbed into the plants, and it stays in the ecosystem for hundreds of years. So it's serious stuff. So here are the biggest sources of heavy metal toxicity. First of all, dentistry. If you have metal amalgam fillings, those silver fillings, which are part, part mercury and part other uh, metal, um, you need to get those removed as soon as possible. And that's a whole process. I'm not gonna go into explaining how to do that, but you need to get that removed because that mercury, the vapors from that mercury is leaching into your gums and into your mouth and your lungs 
and it's slowly toxifying you. And that's the thing with heavy metal toxicity is that it happens very slowly. It's not necessarily that I'm telling you that some incident happened in your life where you got a giant dose of mercury. No, it's just that, you know, as you're getting past your 20s into your 30s, 40s and 50s and so forth, you know, every little bit of food you eat, every drink of water you take that is contaminated with a little trace amount of mercury or lead or arsenic, it all adds up. Think about it. If you're not detoxing it, which most people aren't, over 10, 20, 30 years, that's going to all add up. And the worst thing about it is that it's, it feels like you're slowly being boiled alive, like, you know, that proverbial frog being slowly boiled alive because it's so subtle. It happens, you know, over years so gradually that you don't even notice its effects on you. You just slightly become a little bit more depressed every year, a little bit more depressed, a little bit more irritable, a little bit more fuzzy in your thinking, uh, your cognition declines, your memory worsens, you get a little bit more anxious, your sex drive and performance decreases, you have start to have a little bit of skin problems, you get a little bit of more dark, dark circles under your eyes, you start getting acne, you start getting gut problems, and all this slowly adds up and it's so subtle, and then you go to a doctor and you ask them, you know, what's wrong with me, and they can't give you a straight answer and there's no obvious cure or solution. There's no pill you can take. If, you're, if your brain and your organs are filled with heavy metals, there's no pill you can take that will solve that for you because it's not a problem of adding something new to your body. It's not a matter of eating more green vegetables. I mean, that's good, but that's not gonna remove the heavy metals from your brain. You gotta remove what's causing the problem in this case. See? And because our culture doesn't talk about this stuff, you don't see this advertised on, on TV, you know, heavy metal toxicity, nobody talks about it really. So you don't even know that this could potentially be the, the root source of many of your health problems. So dentistry, food, seafood, organ meats, the water that you drink, the pipes that your water runs through. There's a lot of lead piping still, for example, in the US, there's, an initiative right now in the Biden administration to actually remove a lot of old lead pipes. There's especially a lot of lead piping on the eastern half of the United States. Uh, on the west, there's less lead piping. But, you know, you got to check to make sure your water is not coming from lead pipes. Paint used to contain lead in it. Fluorescent lights. If you've ever broken a fluorescent tube light, and you've breathed in those fumes, it contains mercury. It's very, very toxic. Uh, makeup can contain lead and other heavy metals. Spices are a hidden source of heavy metals. We'll talk about those later in the episode. Tea, potentially. Many supplements are contaminated with heavy metals. Protein powders are a huge offender. If you're taking whey protein powders, or even if you're taking vegetable protein powders, those vegan, Warrior protein, protein powders, those are filled with toxic heavy metals. Did you know that? Even the organic stuff. You might say, oh, Leo, but I only eat the organic whey protein and only the organic, all natural vegetable proteins. Those organic ones, they contain even more toxic metals than the inorganic ones. They've done tests on this. You can find websites with detailed breakdowns of the heavy metals in your favorite brands of protein powder. Uh, traffic pollution. If you're living near a highway, you're breathing in heavy metal fumes every single day. Heavy industry, if you live near any kind of industry, if you work near heavy industry plants, if there are coal-fired plants in your city or where you work, that produces a lot of heavy metal pollution. Wastewater of various kinds, uh, mining operations and the, the water runoff from those. So there's a lot of potential sources of heavy metal toxicity. But uh, the biggest ones you should be worried about is dentistry, food, seafood, and the water that you drink. These are huge. And then any kind of supplements or protein powders you consume, I mean, that's part of what I would call food. Um, anything you take on a chronic daily basis, you wanna make sure that it's very clean and just because it says organic on the box or on the bottle, that does not guarantee that it doesn't have heavy metal contamination in it because that's not really checked for when they talk about organic versus inorganic. 